In this video, we're going to work on the lighting of our sword in stone scene. Now, I think along with the composition, the lighting is the most important part of making a scene look good. So what we'll start with is I'm just going to hit Shift A and add a cube. And I'm going to hit F2 and call this cube fog. Now I'm going to scale this cube up real big so that it takes up the entire scene or most of the scene anyway. Maybe I will go to the object settings right here, go to viewport display and choose as bounds. So we just got this square around it. And then we can go to the materials, add a new material, we'll call it the fog material. We'll get rid of the principled BSDF and use principled volume. We plug this volume into the volume tab on the material output. And as you can see, we got this kind of black smoky look to it. So I'm going to turn down the density so that we can see more of what we got. And as you can see, we got this really smoky look here. Now I'm going to maybe choose more of a blue. So I think that looks cool and mysterious for our scene. Now I don't want to use this light. I'm just going to hide this for later. Now we're going to add a little bit of a lighter amount of light just by going to light, sun, then rotating it. This will be kind of like our base light for our scene. And maybe I'll go into the settings and make it a little bit of a warmer color. Just a little bit. And then what I can do is hit shift A, light, spotlight. And this will be our cool shaft of light that magically appears only on top of the sword through all the trees. This will be the one part of the sun that actually reaches. So we're going to start by trying to get a nice angle on it. We don't want it to be, we want it to be kind of straightish from here maybe, but we want to make sure that's pointing on the sword. And then I'm going to go and drive this power up like crazy. And then you can see. We got this volumetric light effect going here because of the volumetric fog. So I can select that and make it go crazy high and cool. And then I can maybe make it warm again, just like the sun. And that looks cool. Maybe give it a little more directly overhead, make it more strong. Try to figure out where you like it. Maybe I'll go with that. And we're not going to have a perfect spotlight effect here. We're going to have it be kind of blocked out by the leaves in the trees that we theoretically have. So I'm going to go to Mesh, Plane, and I'm just going to simulate that with this plane here. I'm going to put this inside our volumetric, then tab into edit mode, scale it up, turn off the proportional editing I have from before. And now what I'm just going to do is hit right click, subdivide, I'm going to bring that up nice and high, and then I'm going to hit 3 to make sure I'm in face select mode, and then I'm going to go to select, check or deselect, and now I got these in a checker pattern deselected and I can go hit delete faces. As you can see, we already got some nice streaks going. Now it's not going to be perfect, so we can go and use C for circle select and maybe choose some that we want to get rid of in the selection. And delete those faces. And then maybe I can hit control 2 to round it off so that I don't have perfectly squared off shadows. Then we got something like this going on. And now you could maybe adjust your materials a little bit if you think the colors are off. Like maybe this should be maybe a little bit darker for the dirt. Have the darkness affect more of it. And then maybe I think this tree for example, right here, 
I think maybe I overdid it with rotating that a bit more than I should have. So maybe that looks cool. And then we can save. Now maybe I want a cool effect like some fairies floating around or dragonflies floating around because that's magical. So what I might do is use this again, turn on my overlays so I can actually see what I'm doing. And I might hit shift A, plane, and I'm gonna have this plane be here. And what this will be is it's gonna just be kind of a spawn point for my uh, particle system that will have the little fairy lights going around. Make sure that's nice and high. So it's gonna be above where we're actually gonna be looking. And then what we can do is we can go ahead and go to our particle system settings, add a new particle system, emitter. I can hit space to make it play and then tab into object mode. And now you can see that it looks like it's raining. I might make this end a little later, maybe f have it end at, I don't know, 500 or something. And I might just lower this down to like 200 or something. I don't know how many I'm gonna use. So in render, I'm gonna change it from halo to object. I'm gonna save because this might cause a crash or something. And I'm gonna go and choose light. This will be the point light we had before. And as you can see, we got all these point lights. Now this is way too many. I'm gonna go down to like maybe even 50 or something. Maybe even less, like 20. And then I can see that there's this force field settings. I can choose type vortex and I'll play with the strength. Until I find something I like. And then we get this cool effect. And now maybe I want to adjust these so that they're closer to where they where I want them to spawn closer to where I'm gonna be viewing it. And I'll tap back into object mode and hit space to play. And now we get these cool things that are kind of like fairies in our scene. And then what I can do is I can have this thing rotate. So I might go to the modeling tab and I could have this thing set to rotate slowly. So I can hit I, rotation, then move it over. And then hit R, Z, 90, I, rotation. And what this will do is it'll rotate my light shafts. Now that might be too fast. So maybe I might change it to rotate Z 45 negative. And then I'll hit I rotation again and hopefully that'll be less now. I can move the camera where I want it. I can move it up. Maybe I want it to be here for where I start looking. And then I can maybe move the keyframe back here. And I might hit this little guy here to keyframe the focal length. And then I can move farther forward in time. And then I can maybe bring this back to zoom out on the scene with the focal length and then keyframe it again. And now we got this cool animation of our scene. Although with an, an annoying placement of that one fairy light thing. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe to see more Blender videos. Thank you for watching.